Hello, Year 11 Mathematics Advanced students. Today we're continuing on with the topic of functions and we're learning about parallel and perpendicular lines. So gradients of parallel lines. If two lines are parallel, then they have the same gradient. That is that M1 equals M2. So the gradient of the first line equals the gradient of the second line. Let's have a look at some examples and how we can use the gradients of parallel lines. So we want to prove that the straight lines with equations 5x minus 2y minus 1 equals 0 and 5x minus 2y plus 7 equals 0 are parallel. So how we're going to do this is we first need to change the both equations into the form of y equals mx plus c. So if we start with 5x minus 2y minus 1 equals 0, we want to change it to y equals mx plus c. So we want our y to be positive. So we're going to plus 2y to both sides of our equation. So we'll have 5x minus 1 equals 2y. And we then want to divide both sides by 2. And so when we do so, we get y equals 5 on 2x minus 1 on 2. So therefore, our gradient or our M1 is 5 on 2. So our gradient is our coefficient of our X, which is 5 on 2. So with our second um, equation, we have 5X minus 2Y plus 7 equals 0. And again, we want to rearrange it to be of the form y equals mx plus c. And we want our y to be positive. So we're going to plus 2y to both sides of our equation, leaving us with 5x plus 7 equals 2y. We then want to divide both sides by the 2 to get the y by itself. And when we do so, we get y equals 5 on 2x plus 7 on 2. So therefore, our gradient for our second equation, or our M2, is this 5 on 2. So it equals 5, 2. So therefore, M1 equals M2, which equals 5 over 2. So therefore, the lines are parallel. So when you encounter questions like this, you need to show or you need to find both gradients, show that they're exactly the same, and then write your concluding statement. For example two, we want to find the equation of a straight line parallel to the line 2x minus 3y equals 11 and passing through the point 2 minus 1. So how we do this is we need to find the gradient of our equation of our, from our straight line that we've been given. So we have 2x minus 3y equals 11. So we want this of the form um, y equals mx plus c so that we can work out our gradient. So we want our y to be positive. So I'm going to plus 3y to both sides. So when we do that, we will get 2x equals 11 plus 3y. Then I want to subtract the 11 from both sides of the equation. So I'll get 2x minus 11 equals 3y. And then we want the y without a coefficient. We want it by itself. So we divide both sides by 3. And we get y equals 2 on 3x minus 11. So therefore, our gradient, or therefore m1, equals... 2 over 3, which is our gradient. So now that we know our gradient, we would know that for our line, M1 would equal M2. So therefore, M2 will equal 2 over 3. So this is the gradient that we're going to use to create our equation. So, and we also have a point 2 minus 1. So we're going to use what we learnt in previous exercise 
that we're going to substitute sub in m2 equals 2 on 3 and the point 2 minus 1 oops, into the equation or the formula y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, which we learnt about last lesson, which is called the point gradient equation of a straight line. So let's sub what we have in, where our 2 is our x1 and our, y, our minus 1 is our y1 as well. So we have y minus negative 1 equals 2 on 3 bracket x minus our 2. So our first step is to multiply both sides by the 3. So we'll have 3y minus negative 1 turns into a positive. So it'll just be 1 times 3, which is 3, equals 2 bracket x minus 2. So then we need to multiply the 2 in to both terms of our bracket. So we'll have 3y plus 3 equals 2x minus 4. And then we want to write everything on the one side of the equation in the general form of ax plus by plus c equals 0. So we want our x to be positive. So we're going to minus our 3y to both sides of our equation. And we're also going to minus our 3 to both sides as well, leaving us with 2x minus 3y minus 7 equals 0. And that's the equation of the straight line that is parallel to our line 2x minus 3y equals 11 and passes through the point 2 minus 1. So moving on to gradients of perpendicular lines, if two lines with gradients M1 and M2 are perpendicular, where perpendicular means meet at a right angle, then M1 times M2 equals negative 1. That is that M2 equals the negative reciprocal, so 1 over M1. So the negative reciprocal of M1. So M2 equals negative 1 over M1. So, we want to show that the lines with equations 3x plus y minus 11 equals 0 and x minus 3y plus 1 equals 0 are perpendicular. So, how we do this is we need to find the um, gradients of both of these lines. So, let's look at our first one. So, 3x plus y minus 11 equals 0. So, we want to write this in the form of y equals mx plus b. Oh, plus c, sorry, and so we want our y to be positive. So our y is already positive here, so we're going to subtract our 3x to both sides of our equation. So we'll get y, oops, y minus 11 equals negative 3x, and then we want the y by itself, so we're going to plus the 11 to both sides of our equation. So we get y equals negative 3x plus 11. So therefore, our m1 equals negative 3, which is our gradient. So our gradient, our first gradient equals negative 3. Looking at our second equation, we have x minus 3y plus 1 equals 0. And we want to get it in the form again of y equals mx plus c. So we're going to plus our 3y to both sides of our equation because we want y to be positive. So then we get x plus 1 equals 3y. Then we're going to divide both sides by 3. So we get y equals x on 3 plus 1 on 3. So therefore, our gradient or our m2 will be our coefficient of x on 3 where our coefficient of x on 3 is 1 over 3 because there is an imaginary 1 at the front of our x. So there we have it. We have found both our gradients. So now we want to prove that they're perpendicular. So if they were perpendicular, m1 times m2 would equal negative 1. All right. So let's multiply them both together. So m1, which is negative 3, times m2, which is 1 over 3, 
does in fact equal negative 1. So therefore, the lines are perpendicular. So just a reminder with these ones, because it says in the question show, we need to make sure that we show this line and we also write a concluding statement. Moving on to example four, we want to find the equation of a straight line passing through the point 7, 8 that is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. So our first step is to use our equation to find our gradient that we will use. So we have 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0 and we want it in the form of y equals mx plus c. So what we're going to do is we want our y to be positive. So for our y to be positive, we'll leave it on this side. So we're going to minus our 3x to both sides. And we're also going to plus our 4 to both sides. So that means we'll have 2y equals negative 3x plus 4. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2. So we will have y equals negative 3 on 2x plus 4 divided by 2 is just 2. So therefore, our m1 equals negative 3 on 2. But remember that our gradient for it to be perpendicular needs to be um, m1 times m2 equals negative 1. So therefore, our m2 so therefore our M2 will be our negative 1 over our M1, where this equals negative 1 divided by negative 3 on 2, which equals 2 on 3, where this is our negative reciprocal. So when you first find your first gradient, you then find the negative reciprocal for your second gradient when it's perpendicular. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is using our gradient. So using our gradient and using the point that we are given, we're going to substitute them into our point gradient equation. So we're going to sub them into y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. So we'll have y minus our y1 is 8 equals 2 on 3 bracket x minus our x1 of 7. We will multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of the denominator. So we get 3y minus 24 equals and at the same time, I'm going to multiply our 2 into our brackets to get 2 times x is 2x and 2 times negative 7 is minus 14. And then we're just going to rewrite this so it's all on the one side of our equation and so that our x is positive and in our general form of ax plus by plus c. So to do that, we need to minus our 3y and plus our 24 to both sides of our equation so that we get 2x minus 3y, um, 24 minus 14 is plus 10 equals 0. And that's the equation of the straight line that passes through the point 7, 8 and is perpendicular to the line 3x plus 2y minus 4 equals 0. Our last example is to find the equation of the straight line through the point 2, 3 that is perpendicular to the line passing through minus 1, 7 and 3, 3. So we want the line through minus 1, 7 and 3, 3. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the gradient of this and then find out what our perpendicular gradient, gradient will be. So we're going to work out our m1 using our y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 formula that we learned earlier on in this topic. So our m1 will be our y2 of 3 minus our y1 of 7 over 
our x2 of 3 minus our x1 of negative 1. So when we work this out, we get our m1 to equal four, negative 4 over 4, which equals negative 1. So therefore, for our lines to be perpendicular, our m2 equals our negative reciprocal of m1, which equals negative 1 over negative 1, so it equals 1. So therefore, m2 equals 1. So now that we have this and we want it to pass through the point 2, 3, we can sub our gradient, our perpendicular gradient that we've just found, and our point into y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, which is our point gradient equation. So we have y minus our y1 of 3 equals our gradient of 1 times x minus our x2 or x1 of 2, sorry. So then we just multiply the 1 into both terms into our bracket. So we are left with y, oopsies, y minus 3 equals x minus 2. And then because we have no coefficient of y, we're going to rearrange this to be in the form of y equals mx plus c. So we're going to plus the 3 to both sides of our equation. So we get y equals x plus 1 as our equation of the straight line that passes through the point 2, 3 that is perpendicular to the line that passes through the points negative 1, 7 and 3, 3. That is the end of the theory notes for um, parallel and perpendicular lines. If you are following the maths in focus textbook, if you are in the uh, following the advanced textbook, you will do exercise 307. And if you're following the extension 1 textbook, you'll do exercise 407.